Are you ready? I'm not sure I am, but let's go anyway. Final battle against Natural Harmonia Gropius. And this time he, mean, he means business with a team full of Fleev, all Pokemon, and a motherfucking Reshiram. Yes, he's starting with his lead this time, something that basically never happens in Pokemon. So this is why I went with Sigilith in the lead. Hypnosis connects, thank God. So, let's see how much damage I'm going to be able to do with one Psychic. I'm banking on not a whole lot, because, well, this thing is Uber and it's a neutral hit. It woke up already?! Now it's gonna have to take the fucking sun to the play to the face?! Oh wow, it barely survived! That is great, so you know what? I'm going to go and heal up with a Hyper Potion, and I'm gonna go with a change in plans. I'm going to try and stall out all of its fusion flares, at which point I'm going to um, send in Excadrill for the kill since it walls everything else. So, um, I'm, I just took a very minor hit there. I don't really want to heal for with every little scratch, but I really have no choice because you just saw how much, how much damage Fusion Flare did, so if I'm not at full HP, I could die from it. Once again, leaving me with almost nothing. So that was Fusion Flare number two. Sorry uh, if uh, my commentary um, is going to be a bit less interesting, because I really gotta keep count of those Fusion Flares, not to, to you know, uh, switch out one too soon and have the last one rape Excadrill. So I just took number three. And, yeah, for the low, low cost of four Hyper Potions, I'm going to be able to get by this freaking Reshiram. That was number four, and that would cost me about, you know, $4,800. And, yeah, you, you might be wondering, you know, why didn't I go back to buy Moo Moo Milk? Well, I, I forgot, and honestly, in this situation, Moo Moo Milk probably wouldn't be enough because if I if I took a fusion flare, healed with Moo Moo Milk, it probably wouldn't leave me with enough HP to survive another fusion flare. So it's hyper potions or bust at this point. So that's the last fusion flare. So after this turn, I am going to send in Excadrill. Um, sorry, I, I was just in the wrong tab there. So. Here we go, Excadrill should be able to knock it out in one hit since Reshiram's defense is, well, slightly less impressive than its special defense, and we're talking about a super effective attack off that massive attack stat of Excadrill's. So, Extra Sensory puts me down to 130 HP. So, is it gonna kill Excadrill? Yes! It took three minutes, but the beast is down! Sorry. Alright, who's next? Clang Clang! Well, now, I'm not gonna keep an Excadrill. I'm gonna go for um, Yan Shao for a reason that will become apparent very soon. If you have a fighting type move on your team, now is the time to use it. Don't bother with fire or ground, because, well, you're seeing right, right there that Clang Clang doesn't even have Fail Blast, and it shouldn't outspeed Yan Shao, and the reason is very obvious. It actually was a Zoroke all along! So this is why you wanted a fighting type and not a ground type or a fire type in the event that this Kling Clang turns out to be Zoroke. And here's the real deal, I'm gonna use Drain Punch on it to make up for that lost HP from the Fail Blast. And yeah, just by the way, Zoroke will always be disguised as a Kling Clang in this fight, so you don't have to worry about it being anything else. If you see a Kling Clang, just go with a fighting type move, you can't go wrong with that. Vanillux is next. I'm gonna keep Yen Shao in, I'm gonna... Just, I'm gonna go with Jump Kick here. I'm always sort of holding my breath a little when I use Jump Kick because I don't want it to miss, because not only do I lose a turn if it misses, but I also lose half my HP. Archaeops! I didn't remember him having that, but... Oh well, I think I'm gonna go with the Jellicent here, since it's got that super effective Surf, and has... Maybe enough bulk to withstand a, de a defeatist-powered move, or rather, a move that's not powered down by defeatist, as is the case here. So, oh crap! It's got crunch! I'm dead! I'm not even close! Whoa! This is awesome! I didn't expect it to survive with this much HP left, and I'm getting it down to low half 
Oh, great. We're in full restore zone, aren't we? Yes, we are. But I've got so much HP left that if I can keep it down below half health, even um, another crunch won't be able to kill me because I have so much HP left. So, are we gonna... Okay, here we go. Stone Edge! Stone Edge! That's even better?! What?! How do I die?! The math! I mean, I did the math in my head and it worked! Oh, wh how?! How is that even possible?! Why did I die?! What the fuck?! Anyway, Excadrill's going to finish this sucker off, but... Seriously, man?! How did I die?! It wasn't a critical hit either, I'm sure of it, so... I don't know! I don't know! I anyway, last is Caracosta, so I'm gonna go with Lilligant here. I guess Virizion would do the job just as well, but I'm ditching Virizion after uh, the main game anyway, so I'm gonna have Lilligant uh, get some more experience, so the, the necessary grinding session at the beginning of the post-game won't be quite as long for it. Stone Edge connects, but it... Okay, it actually did a good bit, but nowhere near enough to kill me. So, down Caracosta goes, and even though I looked really stupid losing my Jellicent, God knows how, because I have no clue how that happened, I still managed to beat and pretty good. And as a result, I am the true hero of Unova. So, at the very least, people won't be losing their Pokémon anymore, right? Right? Well, we're gonna get to that later, because N now figures out that both, uh, the, the both ideals and the truth can be the right path to choose, as was said in the legend that uh, Drayden and Iris told us earlier, which was obviously a little bit that gets his skipped when educating and to become king. After all of that, do you think you're still worthy of sharing the name Harmonia with me? But Gropius, Gropius, that's, that's fine, that fits you perfectly. I mean, Gropius? Really? Either way, Getsis is now going to reveal N's role in all this, that since he couldn't use Reshiram himself, he fabricated someone to control Reshiram through as a proxy, and that was N. So, N is going to get uh, a pretty good scolding from uh, his father figure here. You lost to an ordinary trainer, it's sort of true, because I didn't use Zekrom for this fight! And... So, he says he never thought that the legendary Pokémon would choose me, and it caught, it caught me completely off guard. Well, so much for your plan being perfect! If your plan was perfect, you would have prepared for something like this! So, blah 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 blah... You, I will have Ann be the king of Team Plasma. Well, after the, the talking to you just gave him, I don't think he's gonna be willing to do so. Unless, of course, that kind of verbal abuse was par for the course, which, considering what kind of person gets this is, wouldn't surprise me one bit. And since Sharon and Alder missed Getsis' speech earlier, he's going to tell them exactly what's the truth about Team Plasma, that it's the second villainous team in a row that was founded based on a complete and utter lie. And, okay, here comes the egomania. He's not pretty when he starts saying how... talking about how awesome he is. Blah, 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 blah. That doesn't mean you're a threat. Did you just see how easily I tore through this guy's team? Okay, let's forget the fact that my Jellison died, but anyway... Um, yeah, by the way, and heals your Pokémon before this fight. And, yeah, of course, because we're going to fight Getsis, and it's going to be the final battle of the main game. He doesn't have a Legendary, but his levels are still higher than N's, so... This could mean trouble if you're under level. Kothagrigus, and of course, Sigilyph is still in the lead, which is very ill-advised, so... I'm going to do the same thing I did with Chantal's Kothagrigus. I'm going to go with the Excadrill instead, though this one is four levels higher, so of course it's going to be even tougher to take down. Ah! Toxic didn't even work on Excadrill. I just love when I outpredict an opponent like that. So here's Shadow Ball, 
And, uh, can I maybe get a lucky damage roll or a critical on my next... No, of course not, because it protects. But you're just wasting some PP, and since Earthquake has 10, I can sort of deal with that since it's the final battle and all. And, oh great, now we're in full restore territory. It uses Shadow Ball. So, just watch what I'm gonna do here. Oh great, special defense fail, so... This battle better not drag on. Full restore, yes, I just chose Swords Dance because I'm probably gonna need something like that if I'm going to win. So now I'm gonna use Swords Dance again since I presume he's gonna use Protect. No! No Protect? Really? I'm sort of surprised here. I'm being outsmarted by Getsis, that's not good. Not good at all. Okay, down to 96, so here we... Or not! This can happen too, but uh, plus four attack, not even Kofagrigus can survive an earthquake with that kind of firepower, and down it goes. So, what's his next Pokemon now? Hot oh, Hydreigon already! This is the one that gives so many people trouble. I'm gonna go with Mian Shao here, since, well, it's still at full health since uh, Anne just healed it. And I'm gonna go with Jump Kick. Oh, it's faster on top of that! Not good, I thought I had a, ch I had a shot at being faster, but I survived the Dragon Pulse. And here's Jump Kick. Is it gonna kill it? Yes! The beast is down! I say that once again, but seriously, this thing, if you're not ready for it, is gonna own you. Bufalan now. I'm gonna go with Drain Punch to heal off some of that damage. Uh, besides, I think it might be good enough for a KO anyway, or not, once again in full restore zone. But at least I got some healing from that earthquake, well at least it's not head charge or something like that. So I lived, and ju no full restore? Okay, had I known that I would have gone with Drain Punch instead, but hey, there was no way to know, I was thinking full restore for sure. Electros. Uh, let's go with, uh... Lilligant had some success taking down an Electros back in Victory Road, so I'm gonna try this again. Now, this thing can have Flamethrower, though, so I'm gonna try and use Sleep Powder first. Phew! It connected, so that's going to give me some time to try and kill it, because I don't think one hit from Petal Dance is gonna be enough. So, exactly, uh, was I right in my guesstimate how much damage is it going to do? Once again, in full restore zone, this is just... No full restore? Does he only have one of these? Well, um... Okay, not complaining. <laughs> Seismitoad, well, let's just keep Lilligant in because this is just an open invitation to get completely raped by another Pell Dance. Quadruple weakness and all, so down it goes. That leaves only one Pokemon, and I wish I could make this climactic, but yeah, Bisharp. I didn't even remember what one it, which one it was. So Mian Chao, Drain Punch. I'm not even gonna risk it with Jump Kick's accuracy, even even if it is 95. So Drain Punch means that this with this quadruple weakness, it should go down and. It does! The battle has been won! Team Plasma is now done and over with! Until the next game, at least. My calculations! No! My careful schemes! Jealous and should have stayed alive! Yeah, sorry if I keep mentioning that over and over. And here we go. He goes absolutely bonkers. I am perfection! I won the Tour de France as many times as Lance Armstrong! I beat Battletoads in two-player mode! I was even Taylor Swift's boyfriend for six days! SIX DAYS, damn it! So yeah, this is where Getsis starts going certifiably bonkers. You may have noticed that there's a dramatic shift in his character between the first and second games. And that's where it happens! That's where he starts going completely bananas, and Sharon does make a point there, and deep down is a really good guy, and Getsis is the one who's an asshole without a human heart. 
So yeah, now we're basically gonna get a whole lot of dialogue. One common complaint that this game has is that they overdid it with the dialogue a bit, and I can agree with that to an extent. <laughs> 